Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 15th, 2022. Week 201, if we've counted that correctly. <laughs> yep. Stacy's good with that stuff, so. Yeah. So I'm going to start first. Um, you start first. The last time we weighed in, I was 162. This morning, I weighed in at 163. Okay. So what was it? Well, what has it been? Three weeks? Four weeks? This, this we're a little behind. Four. Yeah, we're a little bit behind. Lots have happened, but we'll let Bill get to his weights. Oh, uh, what was I last time? Uh, 346. 346, and this morning I was 341, so I'm down five. Yeah. I'll take the five loss. Absolutely. Heck, I'll be honest with you, I had no idea where the scale was going to put me at this point, so I'm just happy to not see it up five. <laughs> yeah. But down five will work. It's It's been crazy. Um, my uh, we cycle over was... Oh. Go ahead. 21 days late. So that perimenopause. that perimenopause is taking its toll on me. I thought, oh, mate. And then 21 days late. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Surprise. Surprise. I'm like, mm. I guess you're looking forward to that. Now, how do you even judge when you're 21 days late? How do you judge <laughs> when the next one should be? I have no idea. Do you idea. go by when the 21st? Yeah, it's usually like 21, 21 days, days between cycles, but I, I'm i usually I pretty regular. Twenty, Yeah. You have a couple marks in the calendar, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> like a possible, possible. <clears throat> and then it might not be anything because you never know what I your just, body's going to do. My body has no idea what the hell it's doing. Yeah, well, it has been a while, and I do want to apologize that we have not been able to make it on here. We are alive, and we are okay, and thanks for all the well wishes and concerns and questions. Um, we have just been slapped with the silly stick in terms of life. Um, mm -hmm. We've had some unfortunate events, uh, the death of your uncle recently, and uh, stacy has been, every moment that she's had available, she's been driving out, which is almost an hour, yeah. Staying and doing as much as she can to help her aunt and then coming home super late. Yeah. And that's been every, either after work or days off, that's where she's been for, even last night, she didn't get home till pretty late. Yeah, and we have body art um, for all the fall seasons for school that they've done, so that's picked up and schedule at work is very different. So when I open, I have to be in the warehouse at 8 a.m., so, so my schedules have been very weird. Um, on a brighter note, unfortunately, when my uncle passed, um, was the day before the borders opened for Canada. My mom lives in Canada. So on a little bit of a brighter note is I got to see my mom for the first time in three and a half years. Bring her over to see so her I went sister. And got her. My one sister came, actually both of my sisters came up. Um, so we were able to see my mom, um, your mom, your aunt, and your sisters all in one place, which yeah. you haven't done in years. Right, right. So, unfortunately, that's usually what brings people together, a wedding or a funeral, isn't it? Yeah, it's the sad. The way it is. Uh, my aunt and uncle didn't have any kids, so we were always like their kids. We spent every summer with them. Um, so and She's a little lost right now, you know, so Stacy's yeah. helping her just get it all straight, get all the bills in order so she doesn't miss anything and yeah. just trying to help her, you know. Yeah, clean, I mean, was, organized, straight, and we've had a house full of boxes and things to go through for her, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. And on top of that, she's still doing the reservation stuff, which she enjoys. But yeah. it just, you know, it's one more day of your day off that goes to eight and a half hours of that. And to be honest with you, I'm just being very patient and understanding, and we text a lot. And when I do see her, it's short times like this because you're off in the car in the next five minutes or so. Yeah. So, but yeah, just life has gotten us and we've tried to stay true to our just eating decently instead of, mm -hmm. you know, meal prepping and planning and doing keto constantly. Um, I wouldn't say that I've fallen off the keto wagon, but you know, I'm not been perfect. Yeah. But uh, hey, I'm down five, so I'll take that. Yeah. I been, ate really late last night because I didn't get home. It was just, everything was in my uncle's name, so... <laughs> There's a lot of processing trying to get things into my aunt's name and getting that situated and um, banks so, and cars and social security and yeah, all the other things you even tons. cell phones <laughs> everything's got to be put in her name you know yeah so, so. it was a um, it's been a long process we've gotten a lot a lot of stuff done but of oh. course you know that I'm running I don't have time to stop and eat and by the time I got home last night I was like oh my gosh I'm starving so I couldn't not eat. 
because I was starting to get well, you migraine. Well, you didn't eat at all yesterday. You had a little protein, had a protein shake, shake in the morning. In the morning. And then you didn't get home till what? After 10. Yeah. And then you hadn't eaten anything all day. That, oh. That's not good and, for you. And, and our daughter is in band, so she's got band commitments, band concerts, homecoming games. And <laughs> you know what's funny yeah. is they said, oh, yeah, band is like Monday and Wednesday after school, 6 to 9. BS, because there's games, pep rally games, football games, competitions. It seems like five to six days a week, the commitment of running back and forth for the band. And yeah. that doesn't even sound that bad. But for her school, that's a good half hour away. So you got a half hour there, half hour back. Plus, sometimes you're driving there and it's only three hours and you're like, well, shoot, I'll just bring a book or a laptop and do something because yeah. the driving and the gas. And I put a hundred bucks in my van and it was gone, you know? Yep. It's, it's a just little frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we have a shredding event at the library, a big truck. It looks like a garbage truck, but it shreds things. And it's perfect timing because we must have had, I don't know, over a dozen boxes of banker's boxes full of paperwork and statements and yeah. things to go through for her uncle. And we were able to differentiate the older stuff that we could actually discard. But it has all that stuff from 2005. But it has all that personal information. Right. So we're going to actually take it to the shredding event in a big tote. And let them just put it through this big monster machine that eats it all up. Yes. Instead of blowing out a shredder where if you're trying to do one <laughs> after another, you end up seizing it up or something, you know. But uh, but that'll help. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Thankfully, um, you know, we, we've not been sick or anything. Everybody's been okay in our family. Mm -hmm. Just just have had the schedule from hell. <laughs> it feels like. So thanks for being so patient and yeah. understanding. And um, and I do, um, there was something that was keto related that you were looking into. I forget what it was. It was a recipe or you were like, oh, I want to try that. I, or was it something at work? I can't remember. It's been a few weeks. Yeah. I forgot. Julia, though, our youngest, said, Mom, could you please make me more of your egg bites? Oh, so yeah. She's that was it. And then the, 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 the round thing you were going to bring me a yeah. silicone round. <clears throat> Yeah, so she's she's asked for egg bites. Um, she says, I would like onions and peppers in my egg bites. So I was like, okay. You kind of turned her so, on to some scrambled eggs or some yeah. dipping eggs where you just, you know. Take Sunny the, side up eggs. Right, she likes that with the toast and she can dip it into the yolk and eat it. So she's been enjoying eggs because that's something I usually make almost every day. I make for her, so. I... Doesn't have to be breakfast. I'll eat eggs pretty much any time. Yeah. It's like the perfect food for me. Even the doctor's like, ah, oh, you don't worry about cholesterol or anything. Your cholesterol's great. Yep. I'm under 200, no medicines, so I'm happy. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's one of the big benefits of our keto thing is that I haven't had to do really hardly any medicines. Yeah. Sugars go up and down. I'm, I've had some weird things with my heart going on and tried to make some lifestyle adjustments. And probably the biggest thing is trying to sleep. And I've been doing really, really He's good. He's actually been going to bed with me. Yeah, I've been trying to get to bed. Which is a feat. You know, <laughs> four or five hours before I would have normally gone to bed. You know, because our yeah. day starts early, about five thirty. So, it does. But I've been trying to get to bed by like eleven, hmm. twelve, and it's it's not easy. Sometimes I lay there and I can't sleep, but I try. Yeah, it's a whole lot better than sitting out in the living room watching TV or doing something on the computers and <clears> being <throat> stimulated and awake. And you know, I'm I'm in there, mask on, CPAP, and mm -hmm. uh, eyes closed, head on the pillow. Usually what I have to do is I have to touch Stacy's side with my hand. Hand goes on the hip. Yeah, kind of on your hip. And then that's how I can fall asleep because I know she's actually here. And I want to talk because we haven't seen each other, but, you know, I need you need your sleep too. Yeah. We, got, we got a weird thing going on with Stacy's knee. We got I ordered a brace for her. I hope it works. <laughs> it, I don't know anybody out there that works with this or we've had people tell us that it's very helpful the copper infused type of braces that somehow that helps with healing or something. But this one has like a kneecap silicone support and side stabilizer support. And it's like one of those pull on braces. It's actually yeah. pretty cool looking. We, and, uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to try that for you. And worst comes to worst, it's Amazon. It'll go back if it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. I am waiting for an MRI. Uh, I have a potential tear in my meniscus. Meniscus. Um, yeah. It's, I went to uh, school with a meniscus. No, it was a meniscus. <laughs> but anyway, 
but my knee is like burning under the kneecap and uh-huh. by the end of the day it's pretty swollen um and this is so we gotta what, get you better two and a half almost three weeks two and a half weeks at least i don't know it feels like it's a blur um yeah but yeah so, so you're just walking at work and just walking away and like all of a sudden boom it starts swelling up and everybody's like what did you do yeah it felt like somebody jabbed a um knife under my kneecap and uh immediately i caught myself so i didn't fall because it's concrete and uh yeah you don't need to fall on that knee uh, and shatter your knee yeah i uh, caught myself and i went to put pressure on it. i couldn't put pressure on it and it swelled like the size of a softball you could see how swollen my knee was through my jeans oh <sighs> so got my mama's coffee cup oh had this since she passed i love this cup yeah i cringe when the kids use it because i don't want them to like chip it or break it or drop it you know how yeah. stuff happens in the house. You know, I walked by the garbage yesterday. There's a paper plate with a an actual real fork on it in the garbage. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, seriously, you just stared at your phone so much that you can't remember to take the fork and put it in the sink and throw the paper plate away? This is my life. These are the things that I deal with. I, I wrestle with that question like 50 <laughs> times. I'm like, I don't know what else to say. Well, we actually do have to get going, but... We wanted to tell everybody we are, again, apologizing for not being here and not filling you in on what's going on. Um, I am sticking with the keto. Mm -hmm. Um, Definitely been simplifying, you know, just basic keto. I haven't even really done any meal prep. Maybe we need to get some ground beef and make up some meatballs or something fun. Mm. Because then then I know you'll take some and eat them. She loves the meatballs. Yeah. And we don't put really much in there. Parmesan cheese is what I use. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't care for the almond flour. I've kind of omitted that. Yeah, just Parmesan something about it. <clears throat> consistency is better without it to me. Yeah, I don't know. We played with that recipe a few times. It's kind of like fatheads we do the same thing. We play with it. We change the pizza up. We do all those things. Mm-hmm. But it just kind of gives you some variety. <laughs> Bill found a bonus fathead crust the other day. Yeah, it's in the freezer, and I'm going to pull it out and make a little pizza out of that. There you go. I don't know when. Maybe a night. <clears throat> Who knows? And yesterday, uh, Lauren turned uh, 22. 22, yeah. So we got to do some kind of like celebratory thing for her. Yeah, Julia's oh. 14. Lauren's 22. Dang, I'm getting old. Julia's going to some concert tonight, but I don't know what the band is. With her uh, her boyfriend, they've been dating for a year. got to start getting my gun <laughs> stuff out and clean it all. Hey, kid, what you doing? <clears throat> He's really good for her. He's, he's, he's been, he gets her in a happy place. She's, she's very, um, he helps to bring her out of her shell and, um, kind of test her, um, shyness and gets her into more of a social event. They went yeah, to like homecoming, to um, which is totally out of her realm and something she would have never done. Yeah, and he's would... like, come on, do, you know, go with me, enjoy, have fun. Uh, she even danced a little bit. Hey, you know, but just going out and being and doing it is yeah. a lot. It's huge. Her really anxiety is. is pretty high. So for her to have done that, I was super proud that she did it. Yeah, she's a um, spectrum kid. So she's got some yeah. definite issues with social situations and, and just that interaction. A lot of times is she's very yeah. she's more likely to stick her head in a book. But one thing that she does do very well and somehow communication through that is great is music. Oh my gosh, she, she just, had a solo. I didn't get. I got yep. there just before the just before her her um, solo part part started. Um, what was the did, flute? Uh, piccolo. Piccolo flute. Oh, so I don't knew, like the piccolo. It's so screechy. It, I have to say, it was beautiful. She did okay. a wonderful job, and um, yeah, so that was really nice. One of the other things, just real quick, she participated in Ellie's place uh, last year, which is a grief group, and they asked her to speak. In front of this is another a thing whole that we were doing. ballroom um, for a fundraising breakfast that they had because it's uh, the no cost for parents um, and children uh, for grief counseling. And through she the participated school, right? through school. They have a um, local place uh, in Ann Arbor. And, uh, and Julia was part of this presentation for this breakfast in front of hundreds speech. of people. I don't know and how the did kid did it. I, fantastic. I, I was a bawling mess. Yeah, and the grief support <clears throat> was for when we lost my mom, yeah. which is, you know, her, you know, Donnie, she called her grandma. Yeah. 
and uh, and it was this very very great little story that she gave and I don't know how she did it without breaking up or having to stop or take a deep breath or anything she just went out there and nailed it I was a bawling mess and the other girl her friend that did it with her um, she lost her father now mind you this was she was 13 when she lost her father so dev actually younger than that devastating um, I don't know how they made it through without crying I, I was a bawling mess because they had pictures up in oh, the background. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I saw the first picture and I had turned my head because I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to make it through. Yeah, I was um, focusing on the podium where she was standing because my, you know, my mom and Julia pictures were on the screens. And I'm like, she did oh, keep it together. She did super well. I can't even believe it. I'm so proud of her because yeah. she would have never thought to do that a year I ago. I would, would never thought happen. that she would stand up in front of a group of people and say that. But, but she was just so affected by... How much the they grief helped. counseling helped her, and she yeah. wanted to be a part of this. They asked her, and she said yes. So we yeah. did one of the nights. We took a drive down there, and stayed at a hotel, and then did the presentation breakfast for her. With they did a, a rehearsal pole. the night before, and then the presentation breakfast. Yeah. So I'm super proud of her. She's done so much to yep. help try to fight her anxiety. And um, yeah, she's she's a troop man. She, yeah, she's. Got more um, guts than I do, I'll tell you that. I couldn't stand up in front of a room and talk about I'm sitting here and I'm getting choked up, but yeah. I and I can speak in front of a stuff. group of people. I don't have a problem with that, but I couldn't have talked about that. And mm -hmm. I think, too, it was super fresh, too, because my uncle had just passed. And so it was, you know, the emotions. Yeah, they, they'd on. asked, you know, if you want to share your name and, you know, who your person is. And I was like, okay. I had to walk out of the room. I said, yeah, couldn't do it. Yeah, but those kids did great. They did fantastic. They all did so great. I know that was a little off topic, but I'm was, super proud no, of that, her. And that's a great little thing that they do with these kids. I mean, yeah. I think they were saying like one in 11 kids suffers a loss of a parent or a parent sibling or, by the age of 18. Right. Yeah, that's that's really crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy. So yeah. anyway, we're here. Sorry it's been so long, um, but thanks yeah. again for the well wishes. We appreciate it. And uh and we're sticking in there. We're, yeah. we're hoping that life settles down soon here in the fall. <clears throat> it won't be too long before you can't do body art, in, you know, unless right. it's indoors because it's getting a little too chilly out here in Michigan. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so things are settling down, and we're very thankful to have the work, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. I've been making a lot of shirts, too, so mm -hmm. shirts keep us busy and, you know, contractors and different people that we know family reunions, all those kind mm -hmm. of things. Yeah. So, you know, I'll every once in a while I'll have six to 20 shirts to make. It <clears throat> keeps me busy. Oh. Ankles healing up well. Fractured that ankle. It's been probably about three, four weeks now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm getting around pretty good. I'm just doing my best to not fall. It's and been almost not two bang on it. Two months. <laughs> Is it really? Just, yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> Should be doing good. Yeah. It aches occasionally. I've been taking some <laughs> ibuprofen, which you need to do for your knee, too. Yeah. I'm gonna probably. Do that now before I leave for probably work. a good idea. Yeah. Go get that MRI, get you fixed. Yep. And we've got that knee brace, so you're going to try it. Absolutely. I, I I apologize now if you don't like it, so you don't have to wear it. You can send it back. But yeah. I just, I want to get you fixed up. <laughs> I'm try. Keep trying. On that note, thanks that for note, watching. And um, thank you. Our anticipation is to see you next Saturday. Yes, we are going to put it in the calendar. Make it so. Alrighty. See you later. Bye. Bye.